This is the last part of the review for test four. This looks like a complicated word problem, but it really is not because you are given the function right here. It says, hurricanes are one of nature's most destructive forces. This function models the barometric air pressure F of X. It's telling you what F of X stands for. F of X stands for the air pressure. In inches of mercury at a distance of X miles from the eye of the hurricane. X is your distance from the eye. So it says use this function to find out how far out the eye of the hurricane is when the pressure is 30.1. You've been given the pressure. You're asked to find out how far out the eye is. You're looking for X. So what you have is 30.1 equals 0.48 ln x plus 1 plus 27 to solve for x. We must isolate this natural log part to start with. So we've got to get rid of this other stuff. So this says plus 27. To undo that, subtract 27 from both sides, which will give us 3.1 equals 0.48 ln x plus 1 then this is 0.48 times ln, so undo that by dividing both sides by 0.48. So that cancels out, and this is what you have. Natural log of x plus 1 equals 3.1 over 0.48, which arithmetic-wise works out to be 6.458. Now, to undo ln, this is where I do this little e to the, e to the on both sides because e to the ln, that's going to cancel out, and all you get is x plus 1. This is just calculator. You need to do e to the 6.458, which is 637.996. Get x alone by subtracting 1 from both sides. So x is 636.996 miles. So with all the wording, it looked like it was real complicated, but really all it is is solving this natural log equation following the steps that we've done before. 4.5 gets us into some more word problems. Number 15 says, the exponential model describes the population of India in millions t years after the year 2006. Here's your model. What was the population of India in the year 2006? Well, from 2006 to 2006 is zero years. No years have gone by. So that's t. If you put 0 in for t, that's 0 0.014 times 0 gives me 0 right here. e to the 0 is 1, and 1,095 times 1 is 1,095. Now that's the explanation, but what you can do on any of these, when this number and this number match, your answer for this will just be the coefficient, but we have to also put millions in here. Now it wants to know what would the population be in the year 2050. Well, from 2006 up to 2050 is 44 years. So this is just a straight calculator problem. 1,095.4 times e to the 0 0.014 times 44. So that works out to be 2,028.1 million. So it is just a straight stuff it in the calculator kind of problem. Part C is going to require a little bit of solving. It says when will the population be 2,537 million? That means we're looking for T. We have A. A is 2537.3 equal to 1,095.4 E to the 0 0.014 T. This is our same deal. We need to get this exponential part isolated before we do any more solving. This is 1,095 times that, so just divide both sides by 1,095.4. Cancels out over here, and we have e to the 0.014t. Arithmetic-wise here, this is going to be about 2.316. To undo e to the, all we have to do is take the natural log of both sides. So on the right side, the right side, ln e cancels out. 
I'm not actually going to do the ln of 2.316 yet. To solve this at the end, I need to divide both sides by 0 0.014. So by waiting till the end on this arithmetic, you're going to make your answer more accurate. So remember, when you do ln, it gets a front parenthesis. You need to close off that parenthesis, so you will enter ln of 2.316 divided by 0 0.015, and it comes out to be about 60 years. Now, that means the population will be 2,537 million people after 60 years. When it asks you when, it's really looking for the year. So this means 60 years after the year 2006. So do 2006 plus 60 says in the year 2066 is when we expect that population to grow to that number right there. The problem deals with radioactive decay. It says we have this function models the number of grams of a radioactive isotope called strontium-90 t years after the year 2010. It asks what is the decay rate for this isotope. The decay rate is just this number right here. So that's 0 0.028. Not negative 0 0.028. The negative is there to tell us that it is decaying, not a population growth. It's radioactivity decaying. But this needs to be written as a percent. So this is 2.8% decay. So that means that this radioactive material is decaying at a rate of 2.8% per year. B says, how many grams of this did we initially have in the year 2010? Just like we did a second ago, when it asked for initial, all you have to do is grab hold of the coefficient in front of E, and it's 1,200 grams. And the last will ask us to solve a little bit. How many grams will be left after 70 years? So we have this, A equals 1,200 E to the negative 0 0.028 times 70. And that works out to be 169.03 grams.